Okay guys, welcome to today's video. I got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna be talking about these CH340 uh, devices and uh, how to fix a problem with them on Windows 11. Uh, so first, real quick, what are these? They are uh, USB to serial devices. A, a simplification of it is you connect to it over USB and it becomes a serial port. Uh, it is uh, TTL level, uh, so if you need to use like RS-232, you need another converter on the other side of it. Uh, but yeah, that's that's it. Where you see them a lot is in um, like your Arduino Nanos. This is one of the, the really old Nanos. Uh, you don't see them so much in the ESP32. Those tend to have the little Scilabs um, USB to serial devices. I think it's because they uh, they needed more memory in them to be able to do the program. I'm not exactly sure why they chose the Scilabs, but almost all the ESP32s do have that. You also don't see them on your Arduino Unos. Um, they, they use another Atmel chip on there. It's, it's just a whole other microcontroller that they're using that has... Um, uh, USB on there. I, some of the knockoff Unos do have a CH340 on there, but uh, you don't see it that often. So that's kind of where you see them. That's what they are. Uh, and the problem is one of the Windows 11 updates recently changed the driver and they quit working for me. Uh, this is a pretty common problem. They, uh, you could see some videos on how to fix it and most of them are telling you to roll back the driver. However, you don't actually have to roll back the driver. So why don't we take a look on the computer real quick and see what the symptoms look like and then we will uh, fix this. Okay, so let's take a look at what the symptoms look like within Arduino IDE if you're trying to use one of these. You'll still have problems in PuTTY. So again, this isn't like an Arduino specific issue, uh, but yeah, let's take a quick look at this and see what it does. So um, we connect it to the computer and we'll see that Arduino keeps trying to connect to it. You see it keep blinking over here, but uh, nothing's actually happening. You'll eventually get an error message on Arduino. that says the port monitor error, open failed. Um, basically, it can't open up the serial port. You go try to do this in PuTTY, you'll have the exact same problem, so it's not an Arduino IDE issue. Um, so let's actually take a look at how to fix this. It's really simple. All right, so let's fix this real quick. It's uh, really easy. We'll just uh, open up our device manager. And again, this problem's mostly in Windows uh, 11. I haven't run into it yet in Windows 10 myself. Okay, so we'll go to our COM port. That's the problem. Uh, and go to properties. The port settings, advanced and we want to enable the serial port enumeration. Once you do that, it's gonna work. So no need to roll the driver back to a previous version. Uh, just uh, change that setting there and it should work. So let's uh, go back into the uh, Arduino IDE. We may have to reconnect the device, uh, but this should fix the uh, driver. All right, so it's attempting to connect. And yeah, there we go, it's successfully connected. So um, yeah, all you have to do is check that box in the driver and it should be good to go. Um, and those CH340s will now work in PuTTY, it'll work in Arduino. Again, this isn't an Arduino specific problem, it's just the application that I'm using a CH340 in right now uh, currently is in Arduino. But yeah, any of them, if you were in PuTTY, Kitty, you know, what, whatever, uh, however you were trying to connect to the serial device, uh, you would have had problems. So it's not Arduino's fault. Uh, it's it's really kind of, I think it's a Microsoft problem um, that uh, with the driver, I, I don't know if it's um, the company that makes these or like if it's like the driver itself or if it's how the driver's playing with Windows 11. But um, yeah, it, easy fix, super easy, pretty quick. Didn't, didn't want to milk this one. But yeah, I just wanted to keep this short and sweet, get you uh, back up and running. I, I've been actually having this problem for a little while now and I just decided to look into it. So uh, yeah, it, it was super easy. No need to roll the driver back. Just go check that checkbox and it, it should work. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video and I will see you guys in the next one.